You know the saying, a little white lie never hurt anybody. But when it comes to job hunting, maybe it can. Carrie Baker, CEO and founder of Part-Time Pros, is back here to GGGC to talk about lying on your resume. Yeah. How many people do it, you think? Well, um, the Society of Human Resources Management has a statistic that says that 73% of all resumes contain false or misleading information. Oh, 73%. And I, I like to give credit to, you know, all the people out there that some of them could be just natural mistakes. If mm -hmm. you can't remember the specific dates of when you worked for a company, you may think, okay, I think I left there in March, but I'm not quite sure, so you make up some dates. Um, if the company is still in existence, why not call and verify that? Yeah, so, that's true. Tell me, I'm sure you've seen some, yeah. right? Have you caught some lies? We have, and um, some of the uh, uh, common ones over the last year in, in, in the recession um, were individuals that were actually dumbing down their resume and putting job, changing their job titles. So they were so overqualified or instead something? Instead of vice president of marketing, they put marketing associate. Um, because they felt like they would be discounted because they were overqualified. But when you wow. call and check references or call past employers, one of the first questions you ask is what was their job title? Sure. So if it um, doesn't match, it doesn't if, match. If it doesn't match, it just it just opens up questions. And that that's always my advice to professionals is be as honest and transparent as possible so that if someone were to check up on you, check up on titles, mm -hmm. check up on dates, etc., that um, it doesn't open up any cause for concern or question about the integrity or the honesty of that individual. The honesty is, is pretty key, and you've got to know this when you're putting your resume together. Um, because I see it all the time in my radio business, and Lacey was, was talking about it yesterday. Mm -hmm. One of the things is references. Yeah. And when you put that you've worked with somebody, Lacey got a call, she said, yeah. and I uh, said, do you know this person? She said she worked with you, and she'd met her once. Yeah. That's got to happen a lot. It happens a lot, and it actually can be a very big red flag that will come up for a potential employer. Sure. Another thing that happens very often is you put personal references and you say that they're professional references. Mm -hmm. So when a company calls and says you were listed as a reference for KC, um, KC stated that, that he worked with you and the person goes, what? I've never worked with him. I know him personally because his son and I are on the same mm -hmm. soccer, soccer, or his son and my son are on the same soccer team. Right. Then all of a sudden, all of these red flags start popping up. So That's that's amazing. Be, so be honest. So be honest. Yes. Uh, one quick resume question. Uh, obviously, be honest. Uh, what's a way to stand out? You know, I, like a special skill or something, or is that too goofy and too old school? What, what's a way to stand out? I actually have just, just written the March newsletter for our, our applicants, and I've challenged them to take their resume to a complete stranger and have that complete stranger have five seconds to look at their resume and then look back at the individual and say what they think they'll be good at. Mm. Um, the way that I encourage people to make their resume stand out is to make sure that the top few pieces of your resume are so crystal clear about the skills that you have, about what you're looking for in a career path, that a perfect stranger will be able to take five seconds, look at it, and look up and say, oh, I see you, you're, you can go into media and producing, or um, you're, you're a salesperson, or you're an IT tech person. So they want to focus you. Yes. Be specific on your resume so that, that a perfect stranger can look at it and within five seconds ascertain what you'd be good at. Excellent. And don't lie. Don't lie. You, what, if, what if you just say uh, just a little bit of a white lie? Just a tiny, tiny bit? I, I'm, I'm of the philosophy of, of stay honest because I, I forget things. So it's much sure. easier for me to remember the truth than it is for me right. to remember a white lie. You know what I put on my resume one time? Um, that I was really good at pop a shot. You know pop a I shot? I have no idea what pop a it's shot is. It's where you put in 50 cents and you shoot all the basketballs. Okay. I had, okay. And I put my high score in there that I got an 82 one time. Okay. It got attention. Did it, did it get you an interview? No, I didn't get a job <laughs> from it, but it was a good conversation. Well, you know what? It, it, it tells the type of person that you are, so <laughs> yeah. you know, those sort of things Oops. may work. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. It's good. Don't lie in your resume, people.